Hey. <coughs> um, I thought I'd do another shorter video um, talking about some of my anxiety issues. Um, a lot of my anxiety has lately also been stemming from my depression. Or rather, the two have been melding together. I, I will wake up and usually my dog wakes me up and she'll wake me up because she's hungry or she needs to go outside. And I'll wake up and I'll just, if she needs to go outside, I'll just open the door and let her go out. Or I'll give her wooden water and just go back to bed. And then I'll, for, I'll go to sleep and then I'll wake up again. And I'll wake up with this, this feeling of heaviness in on my chest and I'll just be laying there in bed and I'll be thinking I really don't want to get up what's the point why why should I get up and lately I I'm actually despite the anxiety attack I had earlier today I'm actually having a pretty good day uh depression wise it's really good but lately I haven't been seeing a whole lot of point in getting out of bed I think a lot of that has to do with not doing anything I don't my only hobbies really include reading and writing, and I have only done a little bit of writing lately, and books have lost. I have lost my interest in reading for the most part, which is really unusual for me, but, and this is one of the warning signs of depression, another reason, my de warning sign of my depression, I should say, <clears throat> and another reason why I'm doing this so I can, this is, this is mostly me talking to myself and being like, okay, if this happens again, you need to be aware of this. Cause I usually don't realize it until I'm a couple days in and it's already pretty bad. But one of my warning, uh, fatigue, not wanting to do anything, irritability, um, like today I had to I already described in another video that I had to go to the pharmacy and that was a very stressful task for me to do both because of traffic and because my, my memory problem affected me and it, it does a lot, but some days it's just harder for me to cope with it than others. Um, because I'm, I've been, I've had this memory problem for most of my life. I don't want to say I forget that it's there, but sometimes it doesn't be, it doesn't affect me in my day-to-day -day life as badly. I mean, I need alarms to remind me to take my meds, but when you do that every day, it's, it's, it's routine that that alarm and that reminder is part of my routine. So today when my memory affected me in something that was outside of my normal routine, it. I don't want to say it was surprising, but it was just kind of a slap in the face. It was me slapping myself in the face and saying, how could you possibly forget that you already picked up your meds? So I went all the way to the pharmacy, had an anxiety attack on the way there, and then I get there and find out I already picked up the medication. So there was no point in going in the first place. Uh, fortunately, they're pretty understanding about it there. Most of the places around here, I, I'm guessing they see it. It must be more common than I think it is. But nobody's ever looked at me weird or been like, God, you're stupid. How could you How could you possibly forget you already picked it up? That hasn't happened yet. And that's something I worry about. And I shouldn't. Because like I said, I, even if they thought that, I really don't think anybody's going to say it directly to me. I don't think anybody's going to call me an idiot because I went to the pharmacy too many times. <clears throat> um, for the most part, I'm learning. I've Throughout my life, I've learned these coping skills, and I, for the most part, I do apply them in my day-to-day day -day life. I wake up, I take my meds, I write down that I took my meds, so I don't take them three times. But when... It's when I'm stressed out that it gets worse, and my family knows that. My family is 
and my friends, actually, my close friends. They've all been amazing with helping me cope with that throughout my life. <sighs> Things that would stress me out would include getting ready to go somewhere. So getting ready to go on a shopping trip. And my mom says, did you take your meds? Yeah, I took my meds. And then I would, she's like, you need to go sure, make sure you take your meds. So I'd, I'd start going down the hallway and I'd get distracted. And my mom's like, did you take your meds? And I would just stop and look at her. She's like, go take your meds. And she would do this three or four times. And then we're ready to go and I can't find my shoes. And that was, that was a very regular occurrence for me is getting stressed out, getting distracted. And then all things I knew I needed to do, it didn't occur to me to do them. Or something that happened once with my, with my mom and my sister were there. I lost my coffee. It was the weirdest thing. But somehow between, in, in getting ready for school and getting my, my hairbrush, my, my books together, I had lost a cup of coffee. <laughs> and we knew I didn't drink it because it wasn't in the sink. So my mom and my sister and I are walking around the house and we're kind of laughing about it because it's, it's like, how could you possibly lose a cup of coffee? And it turned out to be in the car. And for the life of me, I, no matter how hard I tried, I could not remember going out in the car. I, I had no idea how it wound up in the car. But this is, I think I already said it, sorry. Um, that's a very regular occurrence for me when I'm stressed out. And I worry about the newer people because I'm starting to meet other people. Um, people that haven't known me for years. <clears throat> people who have known me, which is probably most of you, for many years already know about this part of me, so I don't have to explain it. But as I'm meeting new people, and I feel like I should give them some form of warning, like, for example, when I had a new therapist, I told her I might not remember meeting you, and if I do, I probably won't remember what we talked about. <sighs> and I have to give that kind of warning, because if I... If I just say I, I'm forgetful, they, they don't quite understand the, the impact it has on my day-to-day -day life, along with the anxiety. It's the anxiety that I have doesn't make sense, and I know that. I know that being scared to go outside and check the mail should not be a terrifying experience. I should not be having to give myself a pep talk to go outside and get the mail, but that's what it's like for me. And then when I have the memory and then I'm having anxiety because I can't remember anything, they, they smash together. And then I go into this, into the depression. So this is, I guess the point of this is just to get some of this off my chest in a verbal way, in a way that I can look, I can look at this and see how well I've explained myself. And maybe if I do choose to upload it, I don't know if I'm going to upload it yet. But this is just a bit of insight onto into the way that I work and how I am and what I'm like on a day-to-day -day basis, I guess. I'll probably wind up adding some of this out because the more nervous I, the longer this is going on, the more nervous I'm getting. Um, I guess my my hope is that People don't think I'm an idiot or people aren't scared away, I guess, because even I do need some accommodations. You know, if you come over to my house and you want me to go somewhere, I might need a minute to gather myself so I can, or I might lose my shoes or my wallet. And this is something my friends know very well. Um, I try to hang it up my wallet. I try to hang it in the same place every day. There's a tack on my wall. I try to keep it on the tack. But sometimes I don't do that. So we might spend the next 15 minutes looking for my wallet, and it'll sometimes be in a blaringly obvious place that I just happen to mislook it, or it might be somewhere really weird, like in on my towel rack in the bathroom or something. So, <clears throat> anyways...
thanks. Thanks for watching. And if you guys have any questions or comments, I'd be happy to hear them. And if you do have questions, I'd be happy to try to answer them. But thank you for listening and for letting me explain this little piece. Have a good day.